And I think a lot of people as well, they want to believe in the new addition of BMAS into yeah. this crew as well. And yeah, no no doubt, like definitely talented players on phase, but that team play for Spirit, it is very, very good on this key side. We'll get to more of that later as we're into the action, we're into the pistol. And that's actually gonna cut off BMAS here, who's in con. He's actually just decided to rotate out of B. He's gonna come to regret that one as the flashes fly on in. He hears everything, but he can't put a stop to it. Plant can be allowed here by Spirit. That bomb's still stuck behind the gray train, so Chopper needs to get it across, and he will do so. Phase a man down, two men down rather, with a retake. They do have a kit, but the odds are stacked against them. Yeah, it's not looking great. Chopper's kept this one in the advantage, getting that immediate trade after his teammate I disbalance was taken care of. Nico and Cold Zera. Nope, now just Cold Zera. It does have a kit at least and a smoke as well, but the, uh, the trade kills are good from Team Spirit and the player's going aggressive. Value won't help with too much weight. It's just gonna you know, put plays on a rifle round here regardless. And Brokey, what? What? Fully flashed, takes the timing shot, kills Rain. They certainly look tempted, don't they? They're ready to go on in on the side of Team Spirit. BMAS is going to have a pretty tall task ahead of him now. And Brokey has arrived nice and quick on rotation with this AWP. He's trying to get into an angle where he can help his teammate, but nothing's available. Nice. And Brokey, well, he will put up a double. He's kept this in favor, or not in favor, but even odds with FaZe. And he's also dropped the bomb right in his prying eyes. So he's able to keep on looking at the package as been retrieved. By the eye disbalance, who catches a bit of a timing while Brokey's repositioning. Bomb now planted, and Magic's having gone aggressive here. Eye disbalance just got tagged by the AWP, and so that's him put down low. We're looking for a bit of a hero in this round for Team Spirit. And 16 year old Magic, well, he certainly looks like he could be the hero. Four kills in the round, and he puts up a fourth on the board. For the taking, Spirit are going to be heading into this bomb, uh, bomb site. BMAS lining up a double. That's a good spray from him. The smoke lands in main, and that cuts Spirit out of this position. They can't commit, and uh, they've just lost two men as well. That's a real problem. Yeah, keep your eye on Rain. He's looking to get a little bit cheeky here in the pop dog, and you can see that Chopper's waiting for it. And oh, Chopper does just swing on down, takes Rain out of the round. Some die young, the man who has been an incumbent force at this B bomb site for a little bit for a little while now. He's going to go aggressive and starts to push up close. Now, Magix was able to get a lot done from this position, but Sundai Young, not able to replicate that same success. Leaves Chopper now in a 1v3. Two kills to his name already. Probably the right call here. It's not a money issue for Spirit. It's just a reality, right? Six health by Magix, but this is all too clear. BMAS swinging early. Lines up a double, and that's all thanks to Mir being brought down to 1 HP earlier on by those nades in main. Magic's on his Ivy Ooh. Lurk, and he is going to deal damage onto Nico, leaving himself now at one point of health as well. Phase, they haven't rotated into B, and that's what Team Spirit were hoping for. That's how they'd anticipated this round to go down, and this leaves Magic's in a pretty undoable spot. 1 HP versus Brokey. And Cold Zera, seven seconds left. My goodness, he is going to nail the first man. But yeah, there's just not enough time, sadly. Great shot. Still, yeah, like, uh, incredible that you're able to stay alive yeah. there if you're Magic. Down through Olaf, but yeah, he's going to have to make this cross. He's trying to go over the top of the train. Oh, Ray, no, the timing no, just couldn't no, be worse no. there. Couldn't be worse if he tried. Rain. Will quickly deal with the first, but it's still Mir, who was in a 1v3, now turned 1v2. He's trying to navigate this one. There is a wrap coming in from Cold Zera. Over towards Ivy. Mir repositioning to the back of the bomb train, and he's heard Brokey and Connector. It's cold that he's got to be ready for. On this Ivy flank, Brokey bested almost immediately, and Mir's going to reposition into the connector. He's hidden himself away. Cold, running out of time, taps the bomb. Mir's going to start to creep on in. Cold is sticking it, and Mir nice. beats him to the punchline. Three kills in the 1v3. He gets it done. So they're both here to anchor down this B site and try and keep Team Spirit at bay. The flashes rain on in, so Brokey's repositioned to take this angle. Onto the cross, but one man's already gotten up close, and that could cause some problems here on in. Biomass falls within the bomb site, and now Brokey still not able to find this man who's wormed his way up close for Team Spirit. That will instead get mopped up by Rain, and now Brokey looking up onto the rafters. A nice shot on a Sunday Young, and Chopper accidentally throwing his gun away. Has retrieved it, but not to uh, not so much success. Phase. <clears throat> 
Nico into that B site for Spirit. And double off the face could be a bit of a problem, but Nico, well, he's a bit of a solution here in the B halls. Three kills before that AK is gifted. And what can Spirit do with it? Now here, if you're Spirit, bleed the round as long as you can. Get as much value out of this AK-47 as you possibly can. Because that's all you've got here. Magic's looking for B picks, but he's walking into an AWP right now. It's going to be B Mass holding the sight contact, spraying away, drops that man. AK gets picked up, second for the job. It's Mia. He spots the drop, but the orc rotates and phase will. Oh, B Mass Molotov down. The flash is so good, and he gets away with damage, but that's not going to be enough here. There's the shot from Brokey, at least. These orbs have been so key at helping out at this B bomb site, but is it going to be enough? It's two on two. Mir and Chopper both very, very low. Ooh, look at Cold. Mir has bypassed these players and the offensive now. And is in the back line. They are kind of accounting for it. Chopper's spotted one. Mir's going to mop it up. Wow. Oh, and he follows up with a second as well. Three in the round for Mir. Trades. Good work on Mir, man. Continuing, Harry, to impress. Put up these performances that, that you know, we wanted out of Mir for a while. In Gambit, it didn't feel like we had the Mir that we know we could have. The, the, the Mir that showed us what Vegas Squadron could do at the Majors. And right now in this team, Mir is looking like He's found his form again. Spirit, a fast B play once more. B mass overwhelmed on that bomb site. The orb might even just try and save here for phase. You can see the consideration. Rain and Brokey running away. Of course, is that you even know, a weapon there? I didn't see one. No, I didn't either. Why is it going to be remembered? But <laughs> well, either way, let's see. move past it. Yeah, this A play coming through. And Mir's opened Woo. up. And Nico with his little UMP up on top of the trains is laying down the pain. Nico. Still dancing around, finally bested by Magix. He was running low on ammo. Didn't really have much going for him. The rotations have come in, but some die young has snuck through this smoke, and this leaves it all onto Cold Zera in a one on three. This bomb is going to go down for Team Spirit, Cold in Pop Dog. It's delayed his progress of getting into this site. He doesn't really know where Team Spirit are either. They've had a lot of time to set these post plants up. Now he rains out the first shot. He's already anticipating that there's going to be a main peak, and it does come through. Both these smokes going to get thrown over towards this A bomb site, and the rest of the gang are going to try and come through Pop Dog. Now, Vmas already dropped literally upon his entry into the site. My word, this pistol round is. It, it, it's already over, isn't it? It's all on rain. One on five, now 1v4. He does get one, but it's immediately dealt with. That was so quick. That was so clean. I, I, I don't even know, man. Full eco. Giving away 12. There's the... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it hits Culver right in the face. I love that. He's got a lineup, Harry, for the jump throw above window. There's a reason, man. Spirit have like 80% win rate on every map they play. And that's because they just have so many tricks up their sleeve, man. So many tricks. Especially after I spoke to you for an hour about them last yeah. night. That would, know, been, that would have been that a real, uh, like would have been a real yeah. fall from grace for me, <laughs> wouldn't it? But over at this B site, B mask. Doesn't fare too well. Have such a buffer to afford to play safe there. It's a better decision than throwing all your guns away in that B bomb site. Fast play out the Molotovs. Look at the damage these grenades have provided. Brokey has got a kill, and they're all coming up for phase. But three players on 20 health right now. Spirit. I don't know if they know how close, how attainable this round really is. If a player gives over a pick right now, and they have that grenade dropping rain, that's going to bait Spirit back into an excellent round so far. Phase with a plant, but with Brokey and B mass on 21 points of health combined. This is very, very doable for Spirit. Even the scout is versatile now. Cold on top of the train. He sees Magix in the corner and drops him quickly. The orb coming up from Ivy, but Chopper might just look to save. That's a quick kill from him. Now the low players for phase. The Spirit don't know they're the low players, and so they're not tempted in very fast. It's a slow stall. It's a wait. You've just got to really react to whatever phase throw at you. Can they do Ooh. that, though? This is where the double orbs could come in handy. And Magic's getting afforded that first kill is certainly going to help. It's onto Cold Zera, no less. And he's been pretty instrumental for phase. They push up into the site. This bomb is going to be the last man in. They don't account for Chopper or Oil, but he's only able to find one. It's still the man advantage here. Four team spirit. Nico, keeping up with his aggressive face, gets into the front line. Has players all around him, but this is where oh. he might thrive. Brokey dropped. Nico gone. And this oh, nice. well. <laughs>
Nico not feeling great about that one. And now I disbalance with his eye on offer. He can have uh, time of Whoa. his life right now. I disbalance. Oops. Accidentally falls off the top of oil, but hey. gets it the third time around. And he's dropped the bomb with these kills. It's fallen into the site as well to make matters worse for FaZe. Now, Firemass will deal with this orb. However, he's lost his teammate and BMAS left up. 1v3, what can he do? The nade finds even more damage onto him. Some noise. So BMAS is clearing it. Not ready for a second man up from pop, but a nice little flick round. All right, he does find that kill. Now a little bit more to do and tries to flick onto some die young. Does do the world the damage, but not enough to find the kill control here but with this position you can see he can take a shot he can drop off pops being covered and really there's no sanctuary there's no safety here for phase in fact the safety's off the spirit and not firing blanks oh this gun is terrified oh shot he doing the damage they do actually get into the site and there's a chance at a bomb plant yeah. here that's sick Russia. for phase if they get this down that's a nice little cash injection uh -oh. Uh -oh. towards the end of this path luckily Ooh. enough mir has got i disbalance his back and he's not going to let that round oh team spirit they didn't really believe they tried to go aggressive and while it has given up this three on three they get the information that the bomb and Brokey were both in main. A missed shot from Magix and the reposition deals with Brokey. Molotov forces him out into the open, but Magix is still taking fights and he's still taking names. Nico, 1v3, shut down by I Disbalance. And wow. teams. See both these teams get put through their paces here on Dust. And this mid setup here from FaZe is kind of nifty. You've got BMAS baiting, uh, being the, the kind of bait to draw them in and Rain waiting close, and boy, oh boy, wow. does it work perfectly. Chopper does get the trade, but that is it for good news for Team Spirit. If you want some bad news, well, they're in a two on four. The bomb's dropped in mid. There's a flank coming in from Nico. There's still players to B. There's only a minute left on the clock. There's a lot of bad news, and the good news kind of pales in comparison. And well, yeah, it's only getting worse, Hugo. He's got a chance for a backstab here for a single kill at best, but you don't want to play this game all too long with Nico. He will be oh! pouring Chopper in his head, <laughs> rent free, and the USP is out now after yeah. that nice kill. I like that from Chopper. He builds up some extra money, takes a bit of a risk. Oh, and cool. even takes a third man down yeah, with him. I, man, they are like, you know, that's a that's a solid attempt. Uh, keeps Rain away from stopping that mid to be play like he's so good at. So Cold's got to deal with it from the door. The flashbang finds nothing. Broken giving it a go, but if he dies, that's a round loss. And there it is, Spirit. They get that trade. They deal with Rain in the spawn. He tries to come through on that rotation. And Spirit, they should be able to get a bomb plant here and lock it around. They see if Team Spirit give anything up. They're going to flash BMAS in now, and they look to go in late. They're trying to catch Team Spirit as they leave the site. And while Nico does put up the first kill, there's no more to follow. This is going to be the round for Team Spirit. Nico surviving. Far away to stop them. So, you know, there's a world where FaZe win that. It doesn't come through. They miss the shots, but now a fast B play into Brokey and Cold. They drop the bomb immediately. Spirit have to commit. They have to double down here in the site. And they're down by two as well. Brokey flash back in for another. Drops the player at card. Chopper blinded. Finds him, but at what cost? Two on four for Spirit. FaZe don't want to rotate because it could just be a bait to get long control to, to three on five the round. And for sure, teams do that. So. And now is the real long hit. That first one, that was just a rehearsal. Here it is, the live show. And Beamast, he's got a front row ticket. He's, uh, he's shut this one down with Rain alongside him. And the rest of the gang falls shortly thereafter. Mir, he's hidden himself in this little hidey hole and he does swing out to deal with Cold Zera. But a 1v4, long Mir creeping forward. The shadow advantage is gonna go in favor of Beamast here. He's gonna spot the shadow ahead of time. So he is ready for that peak. Puts the smoke out in the wrong spot, and so Team Spirit can just aggress up through Catwalk with it. Brokey is holding this down from the crossroads. He's going to be pretty instrumental, but never mind, because in a matter of moments, both him and BMAS have been bested. Now Nico up from short, trying to peek under this smoke, and as it starts to fade, he is given an angle. The bomb's going down for Catwalk, and Nico, oh, oh dear, no. he dropped two. Left on Tamir now in a 1v1, Top. eight seconds left. He's clearing close, but this bomb plant has got to come through. Oh, he's just got it. Half a second left for this plant. Cold up from Catwalk, and Mir looking for him. Doesn't know that Cold is here. Swings on out, but Cold's there and nails the shot. Six on the board for FaZe. 
Yeah, this time they've doubled up inside of the site. And Rain's actually going to go aggressive. He can catch them throwing utility. He can do so much damage. Magix does come in with the trade, but he's burning in this Molotov. Bully Flash puts up another on the board. And he's secured this A-Site single-handedly. Magic's leading the charge, putting up a double. Now the bomb plant coming through, and FaZe left in a three-on-four retake. Doubles up into the site, dropping Rain and Nico. Not easy players to overwhelm on your own. A bit of a problem. They've got him cornered. They've got him Ooh. trapped. They're spamming this smoke, and he's trying the best he can to make something of this position. Really, if he manages to get anything done, it's an achievement oh. in and of itself. And oh, Magic's what in... What? How's he done that? That should have never been a good situation for him. But somehow he's taken down all three at long. And oh, nice. he's in with a fourth. Come on, Magix. Let's get it. Four kills to his name. He has just popped off. He, everyone's yeah. left the A-bomb site. They've but, got him trapped. Yeah, they've got him trapped now. They moved into lower tunnels. I was getting a bit scared. But here it is. Yeah. Magix gets the ace. And there it is, Somebody baby. Up. Four on the board for Team Spirit. Well, because it's good now as he holds, but once it gets into a post part, that orb could become a bit of a problem here for Spirit. Rain is in the smoke. He has flashed through, but he doesn't commit. I think he was blinded by BMAS's smoke because he just hangs out in the spawn. BMAS dies and Rain gets spammed. That's certainly not how they wanted it to go. At least no flashes this. So take back what I said about that flash from BMAS. It's just Rain deciding not to commit lower because it doesn't even come into play in this round. Spirit are hunting the kills, they're hounding him down. Cold with one off the flash. No more. Brokey trapped. And Spirit, they should have him locked in. Even though he gets away with a frag, they are pushing for both positions. Man, I love this from Spirit. Like, it, it's gone from them being like, okay, Mr. Phase. And so I disbalance. Could be in danger. Nico sliding forward removes him from the round, and some Dai Young never sees a thing. That is a bit of an unfortunate crossfire that was set up, right? Just with that angle that's available to Nico because he's crouching, never spotted by the player in lower tunnels. And so, FaZe, they might be about to right their wrongs. They've got themselves a man advantage. They're still Chopper and Magic's left standing in this round. A two on four required. The easiest round they've ever been a part of. Especially not with cold in this position down in the lower tunnels. Magix has retrieved Idis Balance's orbs too. And if they give him a kill, that's how they run the risk in this round. Now with eight seconds and he's getting flanked from all over yet, he kind of wanted to die there. And go for this one fight. And if he solidifies the three on three, then he doesn't have to risk it anymore. He can play for the retake. He tries to peek through the molly to snatch one away and it just doesn't come through. But this is where the flank from Rain, the man topping the charts right now for phase, could look to do some damage. That's Molly quite deep enough to force Chopper out of the oh, yes, it is. It actually is. And that's him removed. Molly burns him out. Magic Samir. The two M's. Let's see if M and M can wrap this one up quickly. Certainly can. It's Mir locking it down. Eight to seven for Team Spirit. Nico just got USP tag headshot from the mid peak and now Team Spirit oh, go aggressive what? on the back of it. I, I don't even know. That is wild. It's an immediate fight in mid. I just balance, waiting for this fight. Doesn't want to overcommit, of course. Still a losable round, but that's the bomb, and so the pressure is really on, and if Spirit can drop it, well, that might just be the round in and of itself. Nico tagged up from earlier in a one-on-four. It's just they're everywhere. So, ooh, okay, one down, three to go, and there's the repeat from Sundai Young. So, no more for Nico in that round. Because the longer the round goes on, the more likely you know where your opponents are playing from. And so, you know, those targeted grenades can be so much more effective. I disbalance, flashes himself in, continues to take up this long position. They've entrusted Chopper with short and with good reason. He's doing a pretty good job right now. Now, Nico is still close Ooh. and they weren't ready for him to be in the site. Brokey's gotten up through Cat and Nico could actually do a hell of a lot here as long as he keeps buying time. Does eventually get dealt with. Brokey's left in the clutch and the rap has come in from Catwalk. Team Spirit just claps in on phase. And it can favor phase a lot more than just rushing B off spawn. Yeah, I think they're going to try and do this CT drop with Rain. And that's exactly it, right? He goes down, but then he goes down in, in, in a more literal sense of the word as well. He gets dropped. Now, Cold has opened up in middle and Brokey's followed. Sundai Young is looking for these mid fights and he swings Ooh. out from the door, but is immediately shut down. Magix and I disbalance. They've got to save. And so phase, yeah, they get, they go ahead, they throw in this A fake early on, they drop a man into CT in a mid. Because the sound is so loud that there's no one that can hear him. It doesn't matter 
Idis Bounce is dead. Free kill for Nico. Won't find the second here. The time will expire. That fight, FaZe always are going to take you on B. So, yeah, nice round for them. The Orps are back out for Spirit, though, despite the loss in the previous round. And Mir has found great effect dropping Rain early. He's been the best player for FaZe in this, in this entire game. So, for Rain to die first in back-to-back -back rounds for FaZe, that certainly isn't good for them. And now they've got nothing. They're down by two. They just have to rush B. Sundar Young is alone, trying to stay alive as long as he possibly can. Get as much value from that utility, but so will FaZe. Burning him out from the back of the bomb site. It's a double B. It's the Wolf Sun gamers here for FaZe Clan, looking to two on three this round. Yeah, once again, a heavy emphasis on this tunnel's rotation from Team Spirit. The mass is going to try and hold the line, but he gets shut down immediately. Brokey now, one on three. Let's see what you're made of. Swings on wide and offers up the peak. He's getting wrecked by flashbangs. Oh, speaking of wrecked by flashbangs, look at this long take. The flashes just rain over high in supply, and I Disbalance was never able to get a kill off as a result. They lose magic early on. Team Spirit once again a man down. Oh, mid push from mid, oh, and he lands the no scope. Brokey was not Why? ready for it. Now Cold is holding on to the top of mid, but he's not going to be ready for this double push up catwalk. However, also B mass down in lower tunnel. Sundar Young just checks it, just turns at the perfect timing. Sundar Young in the bottom of mid for a fast rotation. This is a very hard round for Phase now. He shots missing for me. He follows up with a second, but the Orbs getting chased down by Nico. Three kills and immediately traded. Four in the round for Nico. Someone offers this kill up, and oh, BMAS has given away his position. Now Mir's looking to pressure him, and there's a lot of guys Whoa. down here in the lower tunnels for BMAS to try and deal with. He's isolated two of these fights, and he's just common, right? Like, I, I've got one. There's another guy chasing me at the very, very most right now. In this moment of time, there's two players at this A site. And so FaZe, they're happy with these odds. They're happy with these numbers. They're going to try and survive the cross, and they will get by. Rain isn't so lucky, but Nico will deliver the kills in the site. And this leaves Sundai Young all alone once again. Only this time, overwhelming odds against him. FaZe They've run the numbers. They told FaZe to play safe. Uh, this save will come through. SDY getting away with his gun. They have a stack with the USPs. This is almost certainly phases round. Beamass has been holding his tunnels pretty well, but this time, yeah, he spots four. He just runs right out of there. He wants nothing to do with it. Could get pounced on by Mir in the doors, waiting for that play. The smoke lands. Beamass gets away with the kill, but they're going to run with their knives out, looking to hunt him down. Uh, no, no, no. Not allowed. Not on my watch. Phase. They get close, but I've seen this betray him countless times. So let's see if that's the same case now. Yeah, he gets bested almost immediately. And now these short players, they've got to react so fast. Like the, the, the T's are already in the site, so you really can't offer much up. So it'd be nice to see Idis Balance find, uh, well, <laughs> not that, bullet to the head. Oh dear, Rain, he wants everyone. He wants all the kills. And SDY trying to save the AWP, he has got cover from Mir. Oh dear, but look at that lower chase. SDY not getting away with this one. You would assume he's going to go up to the top and Nico will take a little off the top. Riding on the coattails of the right players being in the right place at the right time. And that's a good start. Nico will respond to leave this in a four on four. I disbalance, smites down another with this AWP. And there's more players coming his way before all is said and done. Trying oh. to swing this and he gets the collateral brokey tag. Not finished off by the AWP, not the killing blow, but enough damage for Team Spirit nonetheless. 15 on the horizon and I disbalance takes a tag of his own. That's his cue to get out of this uh, this long position and leave this four on two open to Team Spirit. Nico coming in late on a long wrap. The only man they know about was this AWP of I Disbalance. Magix was an unknown entity and he's tucked in at the blue bin, Ooh, tries dear. to peek, but now he's trapped. The Molly gonna force him out into the open. Nico jiggling, wiggling. Someone's gonna get oh. this kill and it's Nico to deliver it. Brokey. And Nico, they've got this down from a two on two now to a two v one. Mir, the only man left standing. One kill to his name. He knows a footstep. I don't know. Here, broke his uh, own Is he he's crashed? crashed? You think? Which is kind yeah, of. Yeah, I was yeah, wondering why he's still holding I'm like, CT. Yeah, he's really committed to this. Yeah, no, that, this is too committed. Uh, this is not him saving. This definitely looks like a crash. But, but uh, yeah, not really what you want. No, we had some by young internet issues earlier, so I don't know really what this is, but it's going to be a lost round. Can Team Spirit pull this one back? Cold Zera out through long, opening up with the first kill. Oh, Trade no. attempted. 
What? And that's a very confusing <laughs> kill feed, but we're into a three on three. Nico. Chop, chop a trade. Every little wiggle and jiggle gets me a little bit more scared. Now they're going to move in. Brokey with the orb on the first contact. The lineup. Idis Balance gets one. He doubles it. A second. Idis Balance shutting it down. He may have been quiet. Okay, but that's all you got to worry about in this round. And that's not the case. There's so many players coming his way, and he's not able to stand the test of time. This B site falls. Rain still at A, still being a nuisance, and does wow. deal with this balance. Faze looking to take the first round here in overtime. That is such an excellent round for Faze, like so well played. The fact that Rain fully sells that fake with a CT sided smoke and just cuts Spirit out of the B bomb site. They're going to try and get back in. Brokey's tagged, but he trades onto one. Magic's dropped in the tunnel, and SDY and Chopper in middle in a two on three. And now they've got to go through the door instead. B is holding it. He gets away with the first and the second. Faze finds 16. That we don't have Mir in the lobby anymore. Certus, the coach of Team Spirit, is now having to stand in as a result of Mir having some ongoing uh, power problems. A group up on the catwalk, this AWP on long, big shot for Idis Balance again in this position, finding value. And Faze got to beat ahead of the smoke. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> Man, Rain's been scary. He's like only one tapping in overtime or something. I don't know if that's a challenge he's set himself or if it's just happening accidentally, but Rain has been flawless. Very slow on this approach. A lot of time already picked off this bomb, and now they go on the back of this flash from Certus. They try and get up through CT. There's the mow down chopper and Certus on the receiving side. Biomass comes in with the trade, and Idis Balance gets put in the ground shortly thereafter. 18. You know, man, we shared many a green room with Yanko. He's got the strats, he's got the uh, the reads. I would have loved to have seen him as a serve. Yeah, but we don't get to roll back the ears just yet. Rain looking over here towards Ooh. Cat, gonna put down Magics on the entry. And this might fall bye, apart bye. for Team Spirit. This third map looking like a lock-in now for FaZe. They're dealing with them one by one. And it's only I disbalance and some die young left standing in a two on five. It's likely not gonna happen. It's likely gonna be nuke for this phase squad. They get the bomb planted. Some Die Young will put up one. Now, Idis Balance has been good at delivering us some big moments, but this has got to be bigger Ooh. than ever. He's lit up the first man. Down to the 1v2. He's lost his teammate. He's trying to search for these players. Spots out the man at long, but sneaking through this CT smoke. Past He's dropped past Cold Zera and didn't realize. Defuse going to come on in. Phase. they lock in at this third map. Chopper's going to get tagged on the way down, but an Armada tees in this lower bomb site. Cold, quick kill. Looking for a little more as well. Doesn't want to hang around forever. They're going to hunt him down in the vent. He doesn't realize they're chasing him from the sidelines. Magic's with the frag and Spirit with the B bomb site. Not fully contained, though, because B Mass has already rotated ramp side with Nico. And, and B Mass holding down the ramp. He must actually drop down behind the cubby. Magic's getting picked on up with the USP, just tapping him down from afar. Bomb plant needs to come through here as a bare minimum for Team Spirit, and they will get it planted, but that is it. That is the end of their run in the pistol round. Defuse going to come on in from Faze. To see that ace site. By the looks of things, the players in secret, the ramp getting taken, the biomass holding on, it gets one, trade is in, the secret getting controlled as well, there's a kill coming through in that lower area, and well, Team Spirit are all over this one, Magic's still hanging around outside, Rain does rid him of the round, but it comes with a cost, Spirit is still taking B, they just need to get past Nico. Yeah, that's easier said than done when Nico is inside of the site. Oh, no, no, they haven't checked for it, and now the little jump scare, Nico. Raining down death inside of this B-bomb site. Leaves it all onto Chopper in a 1v2. And they do double swing into him. They get that kill locked on in. Phase go 3-0 and up. Nico's here again, though. Ready to put up, uh, put up another fight. Oh, Magic's bested. But Chopper coming in through the double doors and even leaping up. With his long old arms, he's retrieved that M4. Two on two for FaZe. They'll swing the door open and they spot a man repositioning onto the ramp. They know that Sundar Young is here and they're quick to try and deal with him. They do find it. Chopper now once again in the clutch. He wasn't able to get the 1v2 off in the round prior, but this time there's a chance. Half the time ticked off of this bomber. Both the players rooting in through control. Chopper finds the first, follows up with a second, and he'll put the first round on the board for Team Spirit. It sucks, there's no moving past that. It's a cool situation to see Dima playing with like the new generation of Team Spirit. Whoop. And his old mate SDY alongside him. Now, trades not coming through here for FaZe. This lobby crunch has not gone their way. I Disbalance is going to lay the round to rest yeah. nice and quickly. Uh, or feel the competitive half here. 
Yeah. You, know, you can just kind of unchain Dima and let him be comfortable, have the rest of the gang popping off, and Ida's balance certainly Ooh, is. Ooh, Deary me, okay. I'm liking this, man. Team Spirit, they're out for revenge. Yeah. They want to do right by Mir. Dima somewhere like Ramp, right? A position where you can just anchor on your own. You can fall off, give information for your team. You don't have to really, you know, be involved in any huge rotations. And bringing himself to the level of Team Spirit, or so he thinks him and Magix are going to meet later on up in heaven. Chopper has dealt with Nico down here in secret, and Magic's oh. wrapping down beneath heaven, able to make quick work of rain from this push other than safety. Um, and, you know, just be allowed to hang around to come in for the retake, and that's if there's even a retake attempted, which at this point I don't think there will be. There is still money for FaZe, and maybe with that kill found from Cold, there's a chance they go for it. There's a flash on BMAS as well, but... You know, while he can flash through heaven, I, I don't think that would help Cold in any capacity. And it would also just give up his position. So they're still hanging around. They're still waiting outside of the site. But that kill really should solidify it. It will be the save here for FaZe. Five on the board now for Team Spirit. FaZe have had time to rotate back into A. They've even dropped in from heaven two more players. That's a big pick. It's going to tempt them back in. But they're walking into a stacked setup. Idis balance with a double opener. Brokey can't have a say in the round. He's got to run away and join his teammate in the lobby. BMAS pushing. But Brokey's already started to save. They peek the heart. They try and get knowledge. And instead, they just get a bullet delivered by Idis balance. The last six or seven rounds of Dust2 where he had a huge impact, but obviously it didn't really matter because they lost the map. Well, right but, now he's brought that impact and he's showing it to us on you. We were talking about like this idea, like the mental game for Spirit and this rise that they're on. And can they like roll with the punches? At a bare minimum, if FaZe even want to consider going for this round. So BMAS, moment of, or oh, moment to shine here. The plant coming in, spam is good. Oh, he does finish the job. Looks for a second as well and even bursts the body. Takes down Demon, the bomb drop, the rotates are in. It's all on SDY and Chopper. Nice shot, but he gets traded from above. Rain is everywhere and not waiting around. Chopper in a one on two, but very doable. Low HP for FaZe. Yeah, time is his enemy right now. 15 seconds, and he's looking for the kills, not the bomb plant. That bomb is in the middle of the site. He knows there's no chance of getting it down, so he's got to find the frags, and they don't present themselves. As a team, as a unit, Spirit have been so impressive in how they approach these rounds, but well, on the other side of things, there's Nico dropping a man in the yard. The flash is good, and Nico actually only gets legged off that shot. He can escape, but he hangs around, and that will be his demise. Dropped by the AWP, SDY finds an entry to ramp, and that's Bemis gone, giving Spirit a route into that B-bomb side. They don't even care about the outside control that's currently being held by Magix, because he can just come in on a late lurk. Cold, making sure Lobby isn't contained, and Idis Balance only a few feet away from death. Down at this bomb site. Ooh. Dima not able to hold his own at ramp, and that has given FaZe a way back in. Three on two, but time working against them. Magic surviving on his rotation in nice. secret, but it's a little too late. Rain's already slipped by and dealt with some die young. They close the door on Magic's. There's almost a lineup, but the defuse held and a round on the board for FaZe. Uh, luckily enough, it doesn't seem like anyone's tempted by FaZe anyway. Rain is going to let them pass, and here's all the first steps. The grenade is good, and it slows him down, allowing him to spam. Now, what's the timing like? Yeah, he doesn't expect it. He, he thought he had a gap. He thought he had a chance. Chopper's been there all round long, and now Spirit, they know they've got a top site hit. They know they've got a kill on A. Do they still want to commit towards B, where FaZe are throwing a heavy rotation? Oh dear, if they do make this decision to commit, they are walking into this stack, but maybe it's not a problem. If they just deal with everyone down on B, that works as well. Cold Zera now. Let's see if Cold has it in him to work any magic here. Spots the first man, and Dima's actually going to best him immediately. So seven on the board for Spirit. These lobby pushes have usually been great in phase as well, and time after time, oh. they serve to blindside Team Spirit. Now, they do run out of ammo, but Rain has still laid down the pain with the Deeg, and they get it done with just the pistols on the FaZe Clan side. But then even follows up and makes that round phases. Now, this time, Team Spirit, last round of the first half, they try and bed dive, they try and get down, and in a sense, they do get down, but not in the way they would have liked. They both fall and the bomb is now lost on this upper site. So suddenly Team Spirit, it wasn't the game plan to commit to A, but they've got to do it. They have to find these kills and they do deal with the first man. In amongst all this madness, by the way, Chopper is out. But right now his only job is to hold for these vent rotations. And he might even keep that as his role 
if they're able to deal with BMAS. However, it's not looking great Ooh, for that right now. And so Chopper's given up his position. BMAS best side this balance. He's done a great job of holding down this B site. And there's the wow. killing blow. Three kills from BMAS. And this is where, you know, I think we either see FaZe leap ahead or we see just how resilient these Team Spirit boys are. But a fast A play and some die young, raining down death from atop the hut. This is so quick, so clean, and everything in between. Nico, the last map wow. remaining, and he gets put in the dirt shortly thereafter. Eight to eight, and Team Spirit with another pistol round going their way. Also hear these heaven rotates if you're loud about it. Oh. And yeah, look, these two players coming up ramp. Will they be ready for Brokey in this position? They spot him and they do deal with the man left on the lurk. So actually now FaZe going back into this A site. Rotations coming through nice and early for Team Spirit. They've got the read. They know what's going on in this round. And they wow. get it under wraps nice and quickly. 10 on the board. They've got one man in the form of Nico down at this B bomb site. They now trying to wrap outside, Ooh, taps big. away at I disbalance, and with this kill going their way, 30 seconds left. Where's this hoping to end up for phase? It's going to be this split, and Rain is not wasting any more time. He's sick and he's tired of waiting around, and finally they deal with him. But this crossfire of Magics and Some Die Young has dropped the bomb. Time is becoming a problem now for phase. It was looking good in the beginning of this. Magix is looking physically everywhere. And oh, flicks back up into heaven, but isn't able to connect the shot. Woo. Chopper tries, but not quite. It's still a very, very close round. Very back and forth. Speaking of fast, speaking of pace, let's see. Phase. Ooh. Very quick play into Ramp. Demon's here. He's dropped this smoke for the fallback. Ramp room's lost, but some die young. Trying to come in to mop up the damage. They are a little bit deeper than Demo is ready for. And so Rain's going to solidify that trade, but it's still the man advantage lying with Spirit in this lower retake. Four on three. Yeah, it's crucial how fast FaZe took B and planted after they killed Dima there. So many teams hang around for too long. FaZe couldn't afford to do that, or Spirit would have had rotations. They run into the site and plant, and things are getting a little bit messy here. The shotgun's chugging away and takes Rain down low. He's finished off by Chopper. Just cold now in a clutch that is doable. He's down to 10, though. Flashed out wide with a peak. He's up for the fight, and so is Sundai Young. He'll beat him to the punch. Defuse is there for Magix with the kit, and he can upgrade his weapon as well anymore. He, in fact, he's throwing them all out the window. Don't tell him the odds because he's looking to get this shot off first. And there's Nico denied outside. Ooh. I this balance. There could have been a second ready to go there. Just on scoping at the wrong time. This fire now burning wow. him out into the open. He hits the oh. dirty bomb and I this balance lighting them up outside. Deary me. FaZe Clan is sent packing by this orb. I this balance still hunting for more. He's not content with 31 kills. This man is looking to get Team Spirit over the line with a stand-in. And here he is, by the way, the stand-in in all his glory. Dima shutting down Brokey at ramp, leaving it on BMAS in the 1v4. Not able to connect these shots. 13 on the board for Team Spirit. That lower site, or just coming through the choke point that is the A site. B Mass looking for a pick, he's got it. Two kills away at phase, it's a must win round for them to stay alive in this series. Nico is doing everything in his power to make that happen. Idis Balance drops him after a second. Magix needs to win this fight, or this round is done because phase are already sending that bomb down towards B. There's nothing Magix can do about it. B Mass smoking himself off, and he says bye. Great, especially here and now. 20 kills, four and one in opening duels, six multi kills. He started on the right path. Rain fast in towards this upper site, and it's a fast A play. This time, no multi kills oh, found. Beamast with a stellar 3k transfer. Is this going to be enough to find the round? Because he does fall on the back of it. Two on three. Chopper and Dima left on the other side, and Dima is isolated up in heaven. He gets dealt with. Chopper now all alone. 1v3. They just saw him in main. He's a very good spray control on this guy, and he's showing up now for phase when they need him most. So if this goes bad, if FaZe walk into a stack, which they are, they can just bail and go B with a bomb. So that's going to be the cool hit. So oh. gets a gun, he doubles oh. down. FaZe, they're going to abandon this. They have nothing to do with that A site. They've seen a stack, they've seen one, and they actually don't know where these three other players are, but they're going to gamble anyway. Dropping Drip B, getting oh lower. Nico climbing goodness. up is dropped as well. BMAS holding onto the lobby with one, but there's two more in main for him to deal with. He's looking the wrong way. The transfer from BMAS again and again. His spray control saves FaZe oh, no. and is forced to save of spirit, Sundar Young gets out of the round. Top of all of that, the first two kills Sundar Young gets are on phase coming through heaven on an A split. Yeah, now Brokey is going to keep Ooh. his eye on ramp. 
Oh, actually moving off, and Dima's allowed to swing out on the back of it. Only good for one. Uh -oh. Broki holding for that peak has bought it into a two on two. I disbalance, looking for a trade. Has given up even odds to phase. It's Broki and Nico left in this one to try and get match and series point. Nico besting magic to now some die young. He was a hero almost in the round prior. Now he's got to become the full fledged man for Team Spirit. Looking to hunt down Nico. That nade doesn't do the damage he was hoping for. Brokey backed off into Decon. They've got a crossfire on this bomb. Sundai Young dropping a smoke. Goes Ooh. back to find Nico. And now just Brokey with this AWP. Time is going to be the problem. And with Decon door open, he might start to suspect Sundai Young around the corner. Sees oh, the leg no. through the bottom of the door. Lands the spray. Has now on the bomb. Brokey has to get him off because Sundai Young's sicking. Oh. And he does. Match and series point for FaZe. Wow. The best possible attempt from Sundai Young. Come on, Magic. Sort of shotgun and a dream. And if there ever was a more perfect story to serenade us with, it's the sound of this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Another one. Magic. Oh, he lines up two. And it's all left onto Cold's error to try and deny an overtime in a 1v3. Down into the B site he goes. Oh, but I disbalance dear. holds the line. We're going to overtime. Leading in their favor. They've just played 15 rounds of this. They're ready. They're raring to go. And they explode into the A bomb site. But. It's more like an implosion. One by one, they've been bested. Nico, however, trying to turn the tide of battle. I disbalance has taken one through that smoke to try and get this bomb down. Ooh, Hold gets the information that there's players outside. It's this hot player in Dima that could do it all. Cold just burned to death. I, the, 100 to zero. The Molly wasn't even like he entirely near him. But he might get to use it on. FaZe hey. once again setting up for this A play. Magic's playing close to the hut, turns away from a flash that never comes, but Chopper will double up, and they don't account for Sundai Young. Still here, he drops Ooh. into the fray, and that puts him in front of Nico. Honplark gonna come on through here for FaZe. I disbalance in main. Flashes for his teammate for the Heaven Peak, but that just signals it to Nico yeah. that it's coming through. I disbalance now left in this 1v2. That's such an unfortunate flash. It just gives away the info to Nico. Like you said, no one was watching Heaven for FaZe, and they're watching main. Of course they are. It's exactly where I disbalance sit. Not going to continue this tab, but is he going to check the close right Ooh. angle? He Ooh. doesn't. Some oh. young oh. play in the trigger discipline, but no more players come down towards secret. It's not great in terms of, you know, making a play to win you the round, but it has got the information that this is not looking like a B play. However, Chopper swinging for the info outside. That's the decision he comes to regret. Magic's now not able to hold down the A bomb site. Some die young left in this 1v3 and planted for him. This is a damn near impossible round for some die young. Ooh, the warbang though takes Bemus out as the door gets a hole blown in it. Bemus will too. It's a flash out for Sunday Young. He's going to try and commit. It's all he can do in this round. A Molotov and a kit. Can burn out any position he pleases, but that's not going to have any value. And the time is already ticking down. He needs to get on that bomb. He needs to get into the site. This crossfire is here. Cold is close. And Sunday Young doesn't check it. Cold, quick flick, finds the kill. I mean, that's obvious to FaZe. They haven't fallen for this at all. And Spirit, 20 seconds, are about to hit this top site into Brokey, who's ready to fly up the vent. Oh dear, he's actually close towards the door already. If he pushes here, he is dead in the water, but flash out, he can find the timing. He's forced to peak. He's got away with two. Brokey shutting this round down, and the AWP no scope will do everything they need and more. FaZe deny Spirit the A bomb site, that fake if he wants to take the risk, but he's going to flash his teammates through. Cold Zero going for a hero play. Oh, he mows down one. Reigns come out as well through the garage with a double. Somehow, some way, FaZe have turned this round on his head. But look at SDY, he's taken the A site. Yes, yeah, some die young deeper than they were ready for. And BMAS gets cut down. Brokey, it all falls onto him. He had a very quiet first half of play. But all of that might not matter if here, in overtime, he stops this from going on any longer. He's holding the vents. Brokey's coming from this position, and he's not going to get many chances. Oh, Brokey God. nails it the first time around. And just like that, phase, they're going to lock in the victory here and now. They stop the OTs in their...